it is time to find out who will be tonight's unexpected star of the show! <laughs> So, that is David. He lives in Hertfordshire. He's been a hairdresser for the last 34 years. And there he is. He's combing it out a little bit aggressively, I've got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's not cutting and blow drying, he absolutely loves to sing. He has been nominated by his friend Colin, who is with him right now. Tonight, David thinks he has volunteered to be in an identity parade. And that... <laughs> I know, it's a really good one. <laughs> so you need to be very, very quiet because we're going to actually be pranking him on this stage. Are you up for that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> OK. So I can now go to the private investigator's office right next door, and that is it. And there is David. And that's his friend Colin on the right. So right now, he has no idea that he is going to be arrested. <laughs> David's biggest fans, of course, are his family and friends. And we're going to find out a little bit more about him before we do this massive surprise on him. So I'm going to chat with Franco, which is David's brother. Franco! Dove Franco? Franco! Ciao, ciao! Stand up for me, Franco. So you're Italian? Totally. Totally. <laughs> When did he discover, David, that he was a singer? Well, actually, I didn't even know he was a singer. You didn't know he was a singer? No. Well, don't tell me I've just told you that. Yes, you have. <laughs> Breaking news. So tell now, me the story, I, Franco. Well, I found out about five years ago. Right. Uh, I didn't even know he could sing. Ooh. And then he started sort of throwing a few notes about. And he's embraced that since then? Does he perform? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently so. I've never seen him sing live. Whoa. This is my first time. Well, I have to say, neither have I, Franco. That makes two of us. <laughs> have you seen David sing live? Have you seen him no, sing live? Have you seen David? No one's seen him sing live. The rest of the family has. Oh, the family has. <laughs> All right, so who's here tonight supporting David? Yeah. Oh, Team David. Has, has, oh, we should find out if there's anybody here whose hair David has cut. Oh, there's a bald gentleman who's put his <laughs> hand up over him. A little bit extreme, wasn't it? <laughs> Just to keep her going, OK! <laughs> very good. This is very exciting. Yes, it is. We're going to give him this surprise. How mm. does he take two surprises? Because I've heard he's a little bit of a serious man. I think he'll be a shot. Yeah, well, that's the idea. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Franco, grazie! Ciao, ciao! Franco, Franco! OK, OK. This is a Franco. OK, I'm going to go around there. The next time you see me, I'll pop up in that screen and I'll show you a little bit what's inside that box. Bear with me. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> Very good. OK, so this is where David's going to be taken. He's going to be taken through this corridor. I don't even know what this is. It looks a bit policey and official. Um, there are leaflets for things. It's a holding area. It's all a bit miserable. There's an old... Oh, God. <laughs> There's an old payphone here. That seems fine. No-one uses them anyway. Let's go down here. So, off we go. Health and safety stuff. A little bit of a chart. Of course, this is all, this is all fake. I'm now moving on to that little box in front of you on the stage. So, this is it. It's all very dirty. You know, we'd stand here. Uh, this is obviously wrong. I'm six foot two. <laughs> They'll each be given a, a number. And they'll stand here. I'll get, they've got little numbers there. They know where to stand. You won't make a single sound. And then that is going to collapse. And the next time you see him, he'll be seeing you, and he'll get this massive surprise. OK, thank you. <laughs> OK, so with a bit of luck, we can go live to the room. And there no, are no, our no. volunteers. And I'm going to communicate with that room. We have an actress, Donna. She's going to be running this whole little identity parade. Donna, if you can hear me, 
enter and say, I'm Donna Tracy PI, and without looking, throw your hat onto the hat stand. I'm Donna Tracy PI. Hello. Hello. Okay. <laughs> I'm running this identity so, parade today. I'm running this identity parade today. Yeah. Okay, names. Names? James. Brandon. David. Bit about me? Okay, bit about me. I can Sherlock. I can Sherlock. Your name is Brandon. <laughs> Your name is Brandon. I just told you that. <laughs> <laughs> then look at David, sniff the air, and say Parmesan. You're Italian. Parmesan, you're Italian. <laughs> Look at his fingers. Go slight indentation. A slight indentation. Scissors. Scissors. You're a gift wrapper. Gift wrapper. No, hairdresser. No. Hairdresser. Yes. <laughs> you're here to help us identify. You're here to help us identify the Candyman. He's been stealing pick and mix around the world for decades. They say he brought down Woolworths. They say he brought down Woolworths. <laughs> We've been tracking him. I'll show you on the map. We've been tracking him. Yeah, I'll just show you on the map. All around the world, mainly Europe. But as far as Hawaii. But as far as Hawaii. <laughs> There was this key piece of evidence here. A giant cola bottle. <laughs> a giant cola bottle with his fingerprints all over it. But unfortunately, it did go missing. But unfortunately, it did go missing. I ate it. I ate it. <laughs> <laughs> In the identity parade, you're going to be recreating how the suspect operates. Let's select David. Hairdresser, come forward, Hairdresser, please. come forward, please. Thank you. Just stand here. If I could just ask you to put this on. OK, so if I can just ask you to put this on. Pop Thank that you. on. Pop that on. Yeah, OK. You we'll just take a step back here. OK. Right. OK. I'll ask you to do a few things. No, I'm just going to ask you to do a few things. First, look a bit shifty. First, can you look a bit shifty? Okay. And he did do an evil laugh. And he did do an evil laugh. Can you do one? <laughs> Very good. Okay. It is thought he was okay. sucking on a licorice pipe. It is thought that he was sucking on a licorice pipe. So I'm just going to hand you this pipe. <laughs> okay. Yep. Put okay. the pipe in. Put the pipe in your mouth. Oh. We'll do some combos. We'll Look do shifty. Some combos. Look shifty. Evil laugh. Evil laugh. <laughs> right, how did he steal the pick and mix? How did he steal the pick and mix? So if you just come over here, please. If you just pop the scoop in here. Half full. Okay. Yep. Just half full. Yep, there you go. Stand over here, like this. Raise your scoop in the air. Now, raise, raise. the scoop in the air. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's how we did it. That's how he did it. <laughs> OK, leave the coat on and take a seat. Sure. We're all going to coat up and go through shortly. OK, very, very shortly, we're going to bring him up. He's going to take part of the lineup. That is going to be very hard for you not to laugh. Please do not laugh at that moment, OK? Just hold it in, all right? When I go, that's our guy, it'll fall down, and then everybody on their feet go crazy. The crazier you go, the biggest surprise he will get. All right, let's see how this goes. OK, so they're all... They're all now... <laughs> there's David, a little bit confused. Colin's, get, Colin's really struggling to get his back, back up. There you go. Um, I've never seen a man look more uncomfortable in a backpack in my life. All right, so let's bring him up. Let's do this. When he's on the stage, as quiet as you can. Thank you. Great. I'm trying to that we're ready over there. OK. Take everyone over now? Yeah, please. Fine. Everyone ready, OK? Me, then, gang. Thank Shush. you so much. Thank you. So follow Thank me, everyone. Much. I think so. Yeah, no worries. Let's get you in, then. So, if I can get you to be number one for me. So just stand at number one, number two for me. If I can get you to be number four, 
Number five, I'll just get the suspect. Get into that position there for me, and then just put that right in front of yourself. Thank you, sir. So everyone just face the front for me. Thank you very much. And then you'll hear a speaker that'll explain. Thank you. Number three, please step forward. Raise your right hand above your head, please, mate. Back, please. Step back, number three. Number two, please step forward. Knives numbers five, four, one and three, please step out. That is a massive, um, massive shock. I'm completely shocked. I mean, I'm completely shocked. <laughs> what did you think when, the, when that guy walked in? Because we tried to make him look similar to you. Did you start to panic when the suspect walked in? Oh, no, he wasn't, as, he wasn't as good looking as me. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so this must be very, very surreal. You are yes. here. Do you know why you're here now? No. No? OK. No. Well, you're here because you are a sensational hairdresser. But now yes. you've discovered another talent. What do you like to do when you're not... Apart from cut hair. Yeah. Yeah, I sing. I do. There you go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. You are here tonight to be something called the unexpected star of the show. So you are. It's definitely unexpected. <laughs> We've created and set up a whole huge performance for you. If you would agree, David, to be uh, tonight's unexpected star of the show. No. Yes. <laughs> You're so brilliant. Thank you so, so much. You're going to go up here. There are people waiting, and we'll see you at the end of the show. Today, gentlemen, it's our unexpected star, number two. It's David! <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our unexpected star of tonight's show. It's David!
Wie 